going to do a Copic tutorial for you guys and using this piece here, which was inked on Strathmore's mixed media paper. I like using this paper for Copic stuff. Um, it allows me to apply multiple layers. And the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a mask. And we're using Graphics Frisket to do that. Now, I tried this out the other day in my art snacks video and I loved it. I've never been able to properly do a mask with um, alcohol based markers, but this is perfect. It's a low tech self adhesive plastic sheet that forms a um, protective layer over your work. And the first thing you really want to do is you want to transfer your image so you know where you're um, trimming. And I'm just going to use some low tack washi tape to tape it down so my frisket doesn't move around when I am copying over my image. And you can get frisket at, um, well, you know, I haven't actually seen it in the wild too much um, at brick and mortar art stores, but I did get mine off of Amazon. So you can, you can get it on Amazon. It comes in um, packs with multiple, uh, you, you have multiple options in terms of how big your pack of like eight and a half by 11 uh, frisket masking paper is, or you can buy it by the roll. And I think in the future, I'm gonna buy it by the roll because it's going to give me a lot more flexibility as to how big I can work. And I'm just using a Sharpie to trace the areas I wanna mask. And I, I'm using a Sharpie because it will adhere to the plastic and you don't want to use something water-based because it will just sort of sit on top of the plastic and get all over the place. And this is a really simple um, masking method that can be accessible to anyone who has access to this masking paper. Um, it really doesn't take much knack, which is nice because uh, it's kind of hard to goof it up and you get fairly consistent results. And sometimes those are the best techniques of all because, and I see if I was smart, I would have aligned this with the bottom of the paper and the corner, but I am not smart. <laughs> In this instance, I'm not smart. I didn't do that. But I'm pointing it out so you can do it and you can be smarter than me. And isn't that always the goal for the student to surpass the master? All right, so got the outline traced. Just carefully lift it up so it doesn't tear your paper. And carefully remove your adhesive tape. And you're going to want to cut out with a pair of sharp scissors or a knife the areas you traced. These are right now my sharpest scissors, unfortunately. It's time to either get my sharp scissors uh, replaced or get them sharpened. So I'm cutting out these two little circles and I'm gonna cut this out. And um, you really wanna leave, don't throw this away. This stuff is good to the last drop. It's not overly expensive, but you know, why throw away perfectly good frisket? Now I'm gonna cut out one of these little breath, it's like breathing cold weather things. And I'm gonna adhere it for you guys so you can see this in action. And then I'm going to pause the video and finish cutting out the whole thing and get back to you when I am doing my Copic wide wash. Now, the hardest part of this is separating the paper from the plastic because it is thin and fiddly. So my only real complaint about this is it would be useful if they had a, ha, got it, a thicker paper on the back because it would make it easier to remove. You could even write like um, this side up kind of thing to designate where it goes. See clearly that wasn't perfect, but it's so low tech that if you're very careful, you can peel it up and reposition it. And for some reason, this is smaller than expected. So, there we go. 
I'll get back to you guys once I've put all of my masking um, paper, masking adhesive down. All right, so we've got our masking frisket down and you'll notice that I do have some bubbles. In an ideal world, I would have no bubbles at all. With larger pieces like this, you might wanna apply it the way you would a sticker where you keep the paper backing on it until it's all, all down. Um, or you could do it in pieces. You know, whatever works for you. I found it a little hard to apply like this, but I think that the fault was mine. So I've got a Copic Wide in BV23, and I've got a Copic Spritzer in the same color. And the nice thing about this is I can quickly apply a color wash, and this will be reserved. So this isn't going to be as dark as this. Now, if I wanted to do an all-over tone, I could use a much lighter blue-violet and then mask this off, apply this, and then remove it. It is, it does, however, make that alcohol marker run, the uh, Sharpie, so keep that in mind. That actually isn't a big deal with this. So, I wonder what we can use with masking frisket to transfer, maybe a china pencil, but then you gotta wipe it off. What do you guys use with your masking frisket, those of you who use it? Or do you wipe it down? That might be, that might be the key. And it's gonna sit on that plastic because it's not soaking in, see where it's pulled up. And you could either, um, you know, use that and paint with a, like a colorless blender onto another sheet of paper that has a coating on it. This will work. Um, or you can let it dry and just uh, toss it if you so choose. See, that's how it would look if you pick it up to paint with it. So that's how I apply um, masking frisket to um, reserve areas of white or other color when I'm using alcohol-based markers. I, for those of you who are interested in how the rest of this piece goes, um, I guess keep watching. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so my pools of alcohol ink are mostly dry. If you wanna make sure they're entirely dry so they don't get all over the place, you can use a paper towel to sort of dab them up. And here's a rag that I had sitting around. Oh, that's dry. That would come up. I mean, it'd get all over my hands, but it doesn't really wanna come up. So I can go ahead and pull this up as it is. So um, I attached a little thin, like garbage strip at the bottom because I'd had um, an area where it didn't come up perfectly. And now we're gonna remove the main piece of masking frisket. And you want to pull slow because you don't want the frisket or your paper to tear. And you can use a craft knife if you're having trouble getting it up to just sort of um, gently pick it up. And you can see where it's seeped in a little bit underneath. All right, so that's how you use masking frisket to mask off an area on uh, your paper when using alcohol markers.